So there was a fellow, and he had a chook farm, lots of chooks and no roosters, which is not a good idea if you want to prosper in the poultry business. You want a few of the male sex around. So he went down to the Royal Easter Show and he said to the chap, have you got any good roosters? And the fellow said, yes, plenty. How many do you want? He said, I only want one. He said, how many chooks have you got? He said, oh, 800. 800? He said, strike me, you want a good rooster, mate. He said, have you got a goodie? He said, I don't know about 800 chooks. I've got one been locked up in quarantine for six months, so he can go a bit. <laughs> Is he a goodie? Oh, he said, I reckon, yeah. He said, well, how much do you want for him? He said, ah, oh, 50 bucks. 50 bucks for a rooster? He said, that's nothing at the Royal Easter Show. They pay $35,000 for a short horn. <laughs> anyway, he paid the 50 bucks and got this big heavy rooster. What a beauty. And he put him in the back of the station wagon. And on the way back to the, uh, the poultry farm, the rooster hopped up in a wooden box. Over the farmer's shoulder in his ear, the rooster said, how many chooks are you got? He said, 800? He said, you're my boy. You are my boy. So he arrived back to the poultry farm. He opened the back of the station wagon. The rooster hopped out, came up to the farm. And he said, where's the first lot? He said, wait a minute, settle in. Your feet have hardly touched the bloody ground. Give yourself a bit of a go. Unpack your gear and have a cup of tea. He said, have a cup of tea. Been locked up in a pen for six months. Give us a go. Where are the birds? He said, hold on, hold on, there's a shed over there with 400, go and introduce yourself. Off he went, the rooster. the door, he opened the door, he was in there for two and a half hours, and the noise, clattering and banging, mostly the latter, and all of a sudden, uh, the door burst up, <laughs> chooks running everywhere, happy chooks, <laughs> you could tell they were happy, they were smiling, you ever seen a chook smiling? <laughs> They'd be uphill smiling the other way, wouldn't they? And out of the middle of all these chooks steps the rooster, not a feather out of place, out he came. So he came up to the farm and said, you got any more? He said, tomorrow. He said, today, strike while the iron's hot. <laughs> If you're a devil for punishment, there's another shed over there with another 400, go for your life. But cool it, you're here for a long time. Don't worry. So over he went, he was in there for four and a half hours. Well, the farmer was beside himself, his favourite position. <laughs> and the noise, the noise coming from the shed was like a, like a progressive barn dance. And everybody got a prize. <laughs> was on the door, there's a... 400 chooks, not a single chook standing up properly. <laughs> They're all lolling about in happy heaps trying to fly. <laughs> and out of the middle of all these chooks steps the rooster again, king of the castle, smart as a tack in his dinia brown suit. Howdy. What a way to earn a quid. <laughs> Imagine the censor lady come up to your door and say, what do you do for a living, sir? I walk like a cock. <laughs> so he came up to the farm and said, you got any more? He said, got any more? He said, you've introduced yourself to the lot. That's it. He said, you must have a few. No more. He's got a few ducks. <laughs> he said, ducks, they're a bit low, but they'll do. <laughs> but he said, they're ducks. He said, well, you and I know. They don't know. <laughs> but he said, hold on. He said, you're different species. He said, well, never mind. I wear knee pads. <laughs> All right, I'll 
I'll take you out to the island where the ducks are, but I'm not waiting for you. You're on your own. So he picked up the rooster. He was a bit lighter. And uh, he put him in the back of the rowboat. And off he went out to the island where the ducks were. I'm rowing now, darling. <laughs> he left the rooster out on the island, came home, had a bit of sleep. And at dawn, the farmer got up, got his little boat out, back he went out to the island to pick up his rooster. And as he approached the island, he looked up in the sky and saw this ominous sign. Half a dozen buzzards circling the island round. And he thought, hello, he's done himself in. As sure as God made little apples, 50 bucks, right up the spout. So he pulled the boat up in the island, and there, sure enough, is the rooster on the top. Not a feather on him, starkers, in the nutty, like a number nine Dixie chicken. <laughs> Why, I said, you stupid, but 50 bucks I paid for you, mate. You've 800 chooks you've introduced yourself. I bought you out here in the first, but I told, he said, shut up for God's sake, I'm trying to get those bloody buzzards down here. <laughs>